Grunard Island is a small, oval-shaped Scottish island approximately 2 km long by 1 km wide, located in Grunard Bay, about halfway between Gaelock and Ullapool. At its closest point to the mainland it is just over 1.1 km offshore. The island was made dangerous for all mammals by experiments with the anthrax bacterium, until it was decontaminated in the late 20th century. Early history the island was mentioned by Dean Munro who travelled the area in the mid-16th century. He wrote that it was Clan Mackenzie territory, was full of woods, and that it was grid for fostering of thieves and rebellious. The population was recorded as six in 1881, but Grunard has been uninhabited since the 1920s. Biological Warfare Testing Grunard was the site of a biological warfare test by British military scientists from Porton Down in 1942, during the Second World War. At that time there was an investigation by the British government into the feasibility of an attack using anthrax. Given the nature of the weapon which was being developed, it was recognized that tests would cause widespread and long-lasting contamination of the immediate area by anthrax spores. In order to limit contamination a remote and uninhabited island was required. Grunard was surveyed, deemed suitable and requisitioned from its owners by the British government. The anthrax strain chosen for the Grunard bioweapons trials was a highly virulent type called Volum 14578, named after R. L. Volum, professor of bacteriology at the University of Oxford, who supplied it. Eighty sheep were taken to the island and bombs filled with anthrax spores were exploded close to where selected groups were tethered. The sheep became infected with anthrax and began to die within days of exposure. Some of the experiments were recorded on 16mm color movie film, which was declassified in 1997. One sequence shows the detonation of an anthrax bomb fixed at the end of a tall pole supported with guy ropes. When the bomb is detonated a brownish aerosol cloud drifts away towards the target animals. A later sequence shows anthrax-infected sheep carcasses being burned in incinerators following the conclusion of the experiment. Scientists concluded after the tests were completed that a large release of anthrax spores would thoroughly pollute German cities, rendering them uninhabitable for decades afterwards. These conclusions were supported by the discovery that initial efforts to decontaminate the island after the biological warfare trials had ended failed because of the high durability of anthrax spores. In 1945 when the owner sought the return of Grunard Island, the Ministry of Supply recognized that the island was contaminated as a result of the wartime experiments and consequently it could not be de-requisitioned until it was deemed safe. In 1946, the Crown agreed to acquire the island and to take on the onus of responsibility. The owner or her heirs and beneficiaries would be able to repurchase the island for the sale price of a £500 when it was declared fit for habitation by man and beast. For many years it was judged too hazardous and expensive to decontaminate the island sufficiently to allow public access. Grunard Island was quarantined indefinitely as a result. Visits to the island were prohibited, except periodic checks by Porton Down personnel to determine the level of contamination. Operation Dark Harvest In 1981 newspapers began receiving messages with the heading Operation Dark Harvest which demanded that the government decontaminate the island, and reported that a team of microbiologists from two universities had landed on the island with the aid of local people and collected 300 pounds of soil. The group threatened to leave samples of the soil at appropriate points that will ensure the rapid loss of indifference of the government and the equally rapid education of the general public. The same day a sealed package of soil was left outside the military research facility at Porton Down. Tests revealed that it contained anthrax bacilli. A few days later another sealed package of soil was left in Blackpool, where the ruling Conservative Party was holding its annual conference. The soil did not contain anthrax, but officials said that the soil was similar to that found on the island. Decontamination, starting in 1986 a determined effort was made to decontaminate the island, with 280 tonnes of formaldehyde solution diluted in seawater being sprayed over all 196 hectares of the island and the worst contaminated topsoil around the dispersal site being removed. A flock of sheep was then placed on the island and remained healthy. On April 24, 1990, 
after 48 years of quarantine and four years after the solution being applied, Junior Defense Minister Michael Newbert visited the island and announced our safety by removing the warning signs. On May 1, 1990, the island was repurchased by the heirs of the original owner for the original sale price of a £500. As of October 2007 there have been no cases of anthrax in the island flock. Popular culture references, the island is mentioned in the novels The Enemy by Desmond Bagley, Sea of Death by Richard P. Enrique, The Fist of God by Frederick Forsyth, Quantico by Greg Bear, The Big Over Easy by Jasper Ffordee, Forbidden Island by Malcolm Rose, and Then You Die by Iris Johansson, The Island by A. J. Price and The Impossible Dead by Ian Rankin. In issues 187 a Euro 188 of the comic book Hellblazer, in a story titled Bread in the Bone, the protagonist's niece finds herself on Gluonet surrounded by flesh-eating children. The issues were released in 2003 and were written by Mike Carey and illustrated by Doug Alexander Gregory. An episode of the British wartime TV series Foils War entitled Bad Blood involved biological testing a Euro a strong reference to the Gruenard testing. The Hawaii Five-O episode Three Dead Cows at Makip, Part 2 featured a scientist played by Ed Flanders who threatened to unleash a deadly virus on the island of Oahu. When being interrogated, the scientist briefly mentions Gruenard Island and how it will be uninhabitable for a century due to anthrax experiments. Outlying Islands, a fringe first winning play by Scottish dramatist David Grieg, is a fictionalised account of two British scientists' visit to an island in Scotland where the government plans to test anthrax inspired by the story of Gruenard. The 2013 UK TV series Utopia describes the fictional outbreak of a new form of flu. During episode 3, Duckdale visit the proposed origin of the virus at the, now quarantined, island of Fitlar. On arrival, personnel at the island, wearing orange overalls, carry one of numerous covered bodies passed on a stretcher in a scene that is nearly identical to that seen in the original test footage from Gruenard Island. In the dramatization however, the personnel at Fitlar are seen wearing dust masks as opposed to the gas masks seen in the Gruenard footage. Likely due to budget constraints. See also, Kantubuk, Vosroznia Island, Chernobyl. Footnotes. References. Horswell Smith, Hamish. The Scottish Islands. Edinburgh, Canongate. ISBN 978-1-84195-454-7. Munro, Sir Donald Description of the Western Isles of Scotland. William Auld. Edinburgh, 1774 edition. External links. Archive color 16mm footage from 1942, showing the bioweapons testing on Gluonard Island, the plan that never was, Churchill and the anthrax bomb by Julian Lewis, Gluonard Island photo, more footage of the testing done on Gluonard Island, art project based on Gluonard weapons testing, http www.locusblast.org.uk slash lg.html